Hey, it's Random Pop Culture News for here, aka Anna Wolverine. Check me out all my links. But like I said, I'm permanently transferred to Odyssey, Righty on and Rumble. I wasn't kidding when I said I was going to do that, but I'm not sure if you're watching this Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Happy super late New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Uh, you know, it's way past New Year's Day now. We just got through the first week of 2022, and I'm almost close to being a 33-year-old man. <laughs> well, there's that. But um, I heard uh, another thing, like the Stan Lee NFT thing happened again, which sucks. It, it's super, super sad, man. And it happened to my boy, my absolute wonderful Joy-Con boy. They're not letting him rest, man. Desmond Amufa. Etika. Etika, 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 man. They used his likeness as an NFT. Capitalizing his likeness from a dead person. Three years after he's been dead. I'm not reading the whole entire thing. I'll read half of it. Link's down below, and uh, let's get it started. Oh, I've been having a blast on Odyssey, Rumble, and... Brighty on, so if you want truth or alternative media news, subscribe to me over there, please. I'm way, way more extra unfiltered over there. I just talked about how Australia just shut down their whole entire government for over a week, or their internet for a week. Super creepy stuff, Mo. Real super creepy. This is an internet group called in Antalita facing severe backlash is attempting to capitalize the late YouTuber Desmond Mofa. Kaetica's likeness. The internet is outraged on a new NFT project of Etika Punks. Wow. Absolutely horrific. Scumbags of the earth, I'm telling you, man. But before it began, you already know the story with me and Desmond Wolf. Like I've always said this thing, I hung out with him for seven hours back in 2017 before, sadly, he took his own life and then did the self deletion, sadly. Best seven hours I had. I'd spend times with him, I got turned up with him, you know, like, <laughs> I got drunk as crack and hack with him back then. I can't believe it, it was so many years ago, man. So I was blessed enough to meet him before, sadly, he took his own life and sacrificed himself. It's pretty effing sad. Hopefully he made it to heaven. As he went down to the other place, I'm going to be heartbroken. Let's move on. Tasman Etika Mufa. It's a popular Nintendo YouTuber. Oh, no, this comes from Dexterdo.com, so I've got a credit to them. As a minute ago, was a popular YouTuber, Nintendo YouTuber, who's known for his outrageous reactions to Smash Bros. Reveals that the game's announcement is fans known as Joy-Con Boys. I'm sorry I keep taking breaks because I'm kind of have a light common cold right now. I'm not sick. I don't got the Rona. I don't got the Omicron or any of that. I did take a test kit though, so thank God I'm completely negative on that. But this is what watch Nintendo Directs alongside him in anticipation of his exciting outbursts. However, in June of 2019, Internet lost Etika to the S word, sadly, self deletion. After a long battle with mental health issues, bro. I remember seeing his mental breakdown. It was one of the worst things I saw a person do in their life. My heart, man. I felt bad for him so much. Let's move on. It was a devastating tragedy. It really was. You know, three years later, Joy-Con boys still share their every reaction to moments to Etika's career. But the internet has once again found a way to tarnish... Uh, Creator, similar how Stanley's life work was turned into a commemorative NFT. Yep. Yeah, I heard about that Stanley one a month and a half ago, but I'm not as connected to Stanley, even though I did like all the Marvel Fighters, Avengers stuff. Anyway, but there's a lot of Illuminati Freemason symbolism as heroes and villains, but let's move on. Stanley's life work was turned into a commemorative NFT. So too has Etika been turned into a non film token. <coughs> hmm. Apologies, friends. Didn't mean to do that to you. <coughs> Continue. Oh. NFT Project Etika Punks announced via Twitter January 4th, 2022 was Creators State. The project was put to commemorate Etika's life. The vast majority of lives have been negative. Da, da, da. 
One of Attica's punks NFT pictures is crudely drawn as MOBA bridges. <coughs> no speculation that this meant to represent the Manhattan Bridge is believed to jump off, causing his death. <coughs> hmm. Sorry, friends. Sad my little weather. No, oh, this one was bad here. Another NFT depicts it. Attica as a simian species while holding a banana. Many fans said that it was racist and disrespectful. Yeah, and they're calling him a monkey. That's fucked up. It's super, super evil. Because everyone implies you know what you did. When visiting Etika Punk's pages on Rarible, the project expresses that the that these projects is quote officially affiliated with what officially affiliated with Etika or his family at the time of reporting, but there are other zero bids. Any of the other three NFTs currently for sale, for example, of how many property commemorations? Then the life of a creator. Check out the Smash Bros. mod that adds Etika's playable character. Oh, and then there's another one. Some ordinary gamers did. Uh, Mr. Mudahar and us. It's just like Charlie. Said, "What the actual fuck is wrong with you? This is insane. Look at that. Commemorate the life of Etika sadly in his own life. It was one of a kind. This has got to be from like India or China that did this shit, man. NFTs don't have no freaking value. You could just screenshot it, sh shot it, and Keep it in your freaking like computer forever, in your smartphone forever. Like, come on, There's a lot of Gen Z kids are probably the ones that are buying this trash, man. It's really disgusting, man. Oh, this comes from Zachary Fairfax. Got a credit to him. Yes, this is absolutely sad. I remember him, man. He was one of the most humble, chillest dudes I've ever hung out with in my entire life. As far as YouTubers go, dude probably would have had 10, 20 million subscribers. He was still alive and breathing. And doing live streams. He probably would have been on Twitch or Discord or something instead of YouTube streaming. That's all I gotta say for now. Rest in peace, my brother, Desmond Amofa. Hopefully he's resting in a beautiful paradise in heaven somewhere. I get to meet him in real life again someday. And that's it. Peace out once again. Oh, links down below to this other tweets that I didn't read besides Ludar and the other dude. And that's it. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen, bros. and boys and fingers, those tacos and buddies. I'll see you when I see you guys. You have a night wherever you're in the universe out there. Stay the most you can. Just share with the video game industry news, anime news, Twitter to see drama news, uh, all the other news, etc. etc. And uh, once in a while, pop culture news and reaction videos once every month. And that's it. Peace out, my sauerkraut, lazy bye. See you awesome people on the flip side. Goodbye. See you soon.